right, very good. Inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, push, pull, push, two more, push, one more, push, and pull. From there, as we push out, I want you to bring your big toes together, heels apart, so your feet make like a little teepee, and then pull back in and then make a V. So you've got that little arrow, little V, arrow, V, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last two, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale, now let's bring the knees and feet together, scrunch up all your toes, press through the arches of your feet, pull back in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, now keep that going, but flex your feet, just going to press out through the heels of your feet, we've got four, three, two, and one, now just extend the legs out, pull the right there, and just clean and flex your feet. Clean and flex. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so that completes our foot series. We're going to stay in our seat shape, arms at your sides, off the mat, palms facing up. Start to pump your arms up and down firmly. Inhaling for five of those beats, and exhale for five beats. Level two, we can modify that by bending our knees. Level one, we can rest our feet on the mat. Now we want our pumps to be a good six to eight inches high. So make sure that you're really pumping firmly. They're powerful, they're controlled, and the rest of the body is holding in that position. Let's try one more round. You're going to hold right there. Go ahead, tuck your knees in. Rest your head down. Breathe. Woo. All right, ready for our roll-ups. Let's all start with knees bent, feet on the floor, legs squeezed together. The goal of the roll-up is to bring you up and off the floor using just your belly and not your legs. So we're going to start in the bent knee position first because it's a lot easier to cheat with your legs straight. And I want you to be able to roll up with your knees bent first. Arms behind you on the mat, shoulders stay relaxed. Inhale, lift the arms, let the shoulders drop back. Exhale, we're going to scoop the belly and peel up, stretch as far as you can reach. Big inhale, and then exhale as we tuck it down. Try again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use the belly to peel up, stretch. Inhale again, exhale, tuck and roll down. Again, inhale, lift the arms, shoulders drop. Exhale, big scoop in the belly to heel you off the floor. Inhale again, and then exhale as you roll down. Inhale, the arms come up, our shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale, and then exhale as you tuck and roll down. So if you're confident that you're not engaging those hip flexors, push your legs out straight. Inhale, arms up, drop the shoulders back, the belly pulls us off the floor, we stretch, inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll. Again, inhale, lift your arms, drop your shoulders back. Exhale, be as smooth as you can to peel yourself off the floor. Inhale, and again, as smoothly as you can, pressing back into the mat. Let's try last two. Inhale, arms up, drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale, exhale, tuck and roll down. Here's our final one. Inhale, lift your arms. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, use your belly to clean up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale, and then exhale as we tuck and roll down. Once you've made it down, just stretch it out nice and straight. Let's lift the arms and return them to your sides. From here, we're going to bring our knees up towards our chest. Let your arms stay at your sides, palms facing open. So we're going to start with some reverse crunches using your belly to pull your hips off the floor. Here we go. We're going to exhale up. And then inhale down. So level two people, same thing, but straight legs. Let's try two more. Our last one. And then from there, Everybody knees to your chest. Nice little hug to map up into your C-shape. Extend your arms again at your sides, palms to the side, but now bend your elbows. Fingertips rest on your shoulders. 
Gonna inhale, push arms and legs straight, open, close legs. Axial knees, elbows, inhale, push straight. Open, close legs, axial knees, elbows, inhale, push straight. Open, close legs, axial knees, elbows, inhale, push straight. Open, close, axial knees, elbows, inhale, push straight. Open, close, knees, elbows. Next time, inhale, push straight. Open, close for the head, open, crisscross. So we're gonna inhale, push straight, open, cross, open, close. Knees and then elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, cross, open, close. Knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, cross, open, close. Knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, cross, open, close. Knees, try one more. Inhale, push straight. Open, cross, open, close. Knees and then elbows. Tuck the knees back in. Rest your head down. Ooh. All right, from here we're ready for some nice leg circles. So we're gonna stretch our right leg up to the ceiling. You can keep your left knee back with your foot on the mat for level one or level two. Push your left leg out straight. You wanna make sure that it's not compromising the straightness of the right leg. So our right leg crosses towards the left, circles out and up. So I want you to draw a circle directly above you that's about the size of a large beach ball. All right, and while you're circling that leg out, there's no movement in the rest of the body. So it's like you're pressed into the mat. Here's our last two. One more. Now let's go the other way. Out and around, in and up. Again, draw those large beach balls. And each one of your circles has a begin point and an end point. So it's not continuous. There's a little pause. Last two. One more and then hold your leg up there. Now bring your left leg up. They're pressed together. On the inhale, we're gonna lower, lower, lower about halfway. Exhale, sweep around and come back up. Inhale down. Exhale around. Now remember, if you're lowering your legs and you're feeling this in your lower back, you know that your abdominals are not doing their job. So perhaps instead of going halfway, you simply go eight quarters away. Inhale down. Exhale around. Inhale down. Exhale, two more. Inhale down. Last one, inhale down, exhale around, behold, and now switch legs. Left leg remains extended towards the sky, right knee bent foot on the mat, or it's pushed out straight. Left leg crosses right, circles out and up. You can feel your toes scraping the ceiling. That's how straight we're keeping that left leg. No movement in the rest of the body. Last two, one more, and then go the other way, out and around, in and up. Maintaining that stability in the pelvis, holding that belly button firm to our spine. Relax your face, don't tense your neck. Last two, one more, and hold it. Here comes the right leg. They're back together. This time they sweep around, pull together, exhale, come up, inhale around, exhale, pull, sweep around. Ooh, feeling that work in those abdominals, not in the lower back. Two to go, guys. One last time. And then keep your legs up super straight, toes on the ceiling. This time both legs circle to the right, and then come back around to your left. So as we're circling those legs, we're making sure that, again, we're keeping the rest of the body very still. And these circles are smaller, about the size of a basketball. Let's try last two. And here's our last circle, holding the legs together, and then finally, ah, uh, coming in for a nice tight hug. All right, from here, let's rest our feet on the mat. We're gonna keep those feet spaced apart about this distance, all right? And I want you to keep your heels about six or eight inches away from your butt, so that when we lift in the bridge, you're activating your hamstrings and your gluteals, 
not your thighs and your knees. Drop your toes, turn in slightly, heels pointed out slightly. Palms facing open, we're tightening the belly and rolling the spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. Sustaining our nice tall bridge without weight in the neck. And then exhale, we're sinking. Try it again, tighten the belly and the buttocks and slowly feel yourself off the mat, pressing those hips up super high. And then exhale as we come back down one vertebra at a time. Again, let's tighten the belly and the buttocks, peeling ourselves off the mat, pressing your hips nice and high. And then exhale as we come back down one vertebra at a time. Again, inhale, let's slowly leave the mat, pressing your hips nice and high. And now we're going to stay in your bridge and pull your right knee in. Send your right leg towards the ceiling and then lower that straight leg. Flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. How about four and three? Here's two and one. Let's keep the leg up. I want you to flex your foot and just pulse your hips up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Big hold. Let's bend the knee, place that right foot down, and then we'll switch. Same goes with the left knee. In, nice and straight to the ceiling, lower left, flex, point, down, up. So make sure that you're still really lifting up into that bridge. Powerful, strong movements here. Nothing delicate about Pilates. You've got four and three, how about two and one. Let's pull that leg up, flex your foot, and just pulse the hips. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, big hold. Good, now bend the knee. Woo, you can mess that foot down. Still press your hips a little bit more, a little bit more. And then ever so slowly we melt. Uh, and then once we've made it all the way down, go ahead and pull your knees in, nice tight hugs. A couple little rocks from side to side. And then circle your knees around and around, massage your lower back. And then let's reverse. All right, from there, let's roll up. All right, we're going to start with spine stretch. So for spine stretch, if you have tight hamstrings and it's really hard to sit straight thanks to your background, all you have to do is roll your mat in. To form a nice little bolster, you want, or you could use a pillow or a yoga block, but the goal of this is to make sure you can fit your hands onto your thighs with some room, all right? If you don't have enough of a roll, it's not going to do anything if you really have tight hand strips. So we're going to sit tall and straight. We've got our shoulders over our hips, head is over tailbone, flex your feet, extend your arms, keep your palms up, and make sure that you your arms shoulder level so they're not going to lower or lift at all. They're going to stay right there. The inhale and preparation. On the exhale, we start tightening the belly. While that's happening, our spine is rounding and our head actually drops through the arms, chin on our chest, and then inhale, lift out of it. Lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Try again. Exhale, scooping the belly. Round out your spine. Drop your head through your arms. Push out through your fingers and your feet. And then let's inhale back up lower. Middle, upper spine, and head. Again, let's exhale, scoop the belly in. Round out your spine. So we should all look like a horseshoe from the side. Inhale back up lower. Middle, upper spine, and head. Exhale, scooping the belly in. We're rounding, 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 letting that head drop through the arms. And then inhale all the way back up. So we're actually taller than when we went down. There's our last one, exhale. Scooping that belly and rounding, rounding, rounding your spine, dropping your head through your arms, chin on your chest. And then inhale, lift, lift. All the way back up. Hold it. And then you can relax your arms. All right. Let's remove the elevation if we're using it. And we're preparing now to roll like a ball. Rolling like a ball. We're going to start with our thighs. Pull right up against our body. And then we're going to balance on our tailbone, touch your big toes together, keep your knees a little bit apart, relax your shoulders, let your chin drop on your chest, 
and tuck your nose between your knees, all right? So that would be level one. Level two, you can bring your hands in front of your shins. The goal is to pull you back using your belly without pulling back with your shoulders and come up using your belly, not your legs. So we inhale back and then exhale, come back up. So when you're rolling, if you're seeing anything but your very own belly button, that means you're not tucking your chin. Inhale, go back. Exhale, roll up. And you can actually do these at your own pace, focusing on your core. Let's all try one more roll. And then just maintain a nice tucked in position. That's going to lead us into single leg stretch. So keep the right knee tucked in, extend the left leg out nice and long, and then roll back. And you're going to roll back, so you're on the back side of your rib cage, shoulders neck and head off the door. Put your left hand atop your right knee, right hand goes atop the right ankle, elbows are open, and lift it, and we alternate. So we're stretching our legs across the room. Drawing the knee right up to the chest. Make sure you're getting full extension on that leg. No cheating. How about four, three, two, hold there. Switch hold. Switch hold. Let's do two more. Switch hold. And one more. Switch hold. Now bring the other knee in. Hands can rest on your ankles, your shins, or the tops of your feet. Notice we're still in our T shape. Double leg stretch. Inhale, start reaching up. Send the legs out as the arms frame your head. Exhale, the arms sweep around and the knees tuck in. So let's inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. And please don't be lowering and lifting your head on this. If you need a break, set your head down, take a break. But you gotta stay up in your C shape. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last two, inhale. One more, inhale and exhale. All right, straight single leg stretch. Get the right leg straight, reach your hands up as close to your ankles as you can. Calf works just fine. Don't hold behind your knee or below. Gotta be re reaching up. Left leg nice and straight also. Notice we're in our C shape. You're gonna draw the right leg forward towards your face and pull the left leg away and then we snatch. All right, so no yanking on your leg. Simply guide it with your hands and visualize yourself actually doing a split on the ceiling. Let's all do four more. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Both legs together. We're going to form a thumb and index finger triangle. Level one, you're gonna put the triangle under your butt. That's gonna help your lower back and your belly on this. Level two, you're gonna keep your butt pressed into the mat. Put that triangle lightly on the back of your head. Everybody tighten the belly up we go, and there's our nice C-shape. Inhale, drop the legs slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, you pop up without lifting the butt. Inhale, lower, exhale, pull. Inhale, lower. Inhale to lower, exhale, come up. Inhale to lower, exhale, pull up. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, couple more times. Inhale, lower, exhale, turn one more. Inhale, lower, exhale, up, hold it. Everybody's head down, tuck your knees in. And let's finish off that series with a nice strong crisscross. The belly comes tightening, rounding up, rounding up. Start with the right knee in, push the left leg out. Trying to let everybody dab in your head. Don't let me see you pulling your elbows in. Keep your elbows nice and wide. And we'll start with just your legs. In, in. Stretching right across the room. Full extension on the legs. Notice there's no movement in your hips. Four, three, two, one. Big hold. Now let's go a little higher. Bring your opposite arm up and across to your knee. And then switch. Lift, twist. Lift, twist. Lift, twist. Lift, twist. So it's very important that you're lifting and twisting, and not just twisting from side to side, pulling on your forehead or neck. Use 
those oblates. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. How about four? Here's our three. Here's two. And one. Hold it. Switch, hold. Switch, last two. One more. Switch, hold. Woo, knees together. Down goes your head. All right, let's rest your feet down on the mat and stretch your arms out wide. Drop your knees to the right as you look up. We'll come back up and drop your knees off to the left and the right. And then we can come back to neutral. And from there, pull the knees back in. Let's roll ourselves up. All right, let's do another seated exercise. We'll do our row number one. So for row number one, we're gonna start sitting nice and tall. Legs are together. Make a fist with your hands. Press your knuckles together. And let your thumbs point to the floor. All right. So we're going to inhale as we start scooping back. Exhale. Extend your arms. Squat dive your ribs to your thighs. Inhale. Lift your arms behind you as they're together. Exhale. Come forward and touch your toes. We'll come back up. Try again. Knuckles together. Thumbs point down. Inhale. Point back. Exhale, arms extend, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift up higher with the arms. Exhale, forward to your toes. Come back up. Now goes together, thumbs point down. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale, arms extend, swan dive forward. Inhale, lifting higher and higher. Exhale to your toes. Come back up. Let's do a couple more. Now goes together, thumbs down. Inhale, pulling back. Exhale, arms extend. Lift those arms behind you. Exhale to your toes. And we'll do one more. Knuckles together, thumbs point down. Inhale, scoop the body back. Exhale, extend. Swan dive forward. Inhale, lift your arms higher. And then exhale, go to those toes. All right, we're back up. Let's bend our knees and let's get ready to build our first teaser. On teaser, the back is straight, the heart is lifted, the shoulders are down, and the head is up. We're going to balance on our two bone. When you feel ready, you can start extending your legs, ensuring that we're not rounding the back. So no worries if your legs don't go all the way straight. Once there, let's have your arms up. And simply lower lift your arms down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, one. Hold it. And let's open slowly. Down and down and down to the ground. All right, flex your feet, push out through those fingertips, stretch, and release. So now I want you to keep the leg straight that's closest to me, bend the back knee, foot on the mat, and you're gonna roll onto your side. All right, you're gonna be facing me, and you wanna be in a very straight line parallel to the edge of your mat. You can either be up on your forearm if you'd like, Make sure you don't sink down into your shoulder, so you gotta stay lifted. Or we're gonna go all the way down on a straight arm. I avoid this position. It puts a lot of strain on your neck. Not much is happening here. People get way too comfortable. So you're gonna be either all the way up or all the way down on your mat. Let's bring the legs to the front edge of our mat and then a little bit beyond that. So you have a good boomerang shape to your body. If you could see yourself looking down from the ceiling, you would see that small pike at your hip, all right? So we're gonna start with the top leg, point, laps, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more, up and down, now let's reverse that. Go flex and point, up and down, up, down, up, down, up. Three more, last two, one more, and hold right there. Now I want you to trace a line up your thigh with your toe. Drop your knee down and then up. Extend the leg, flex, pull down. So you've got a point, pull, drop, open, extend, flex, and lower. Point, pull, drop, open, extend, flex, and lower. Point, pull, drop, open, extend, flex. Now let's reverse that. Flex, point, bend. Lower lift and then slide down. Flex point, bend. Lower lift and slide down. Flex point, bend. Lower lift. Slide one more. Flex point, 
bend, lower lift, and slide down. Now let's bend both of our knees. Gonna keep the knees together and down on the neck, but we're gonna lift the feet off the floor and just lift and lower the top legs to get a press and flow. And really think about pressing and pulling versus lifting and over, lifting and lowering. So you press and flow, press and flow, press and two more, press and one more, press and pull. Go ahead and let the feet return down and let's come back into that boomerang shape. Now just lift your top leg, we're going to keep the hip level, and we're going to keep it parallel to the ceiling. Start as you're pulling forward, we flex our foot, and then as we go back, we extend through the toes. So it's inhale, front, front, exhale, stretch back. And I want you to do this without getting all wobbly here in your upper body. So you have to make sure that you're not moving your lower leg, you're not moving from the waist up, just this nice, strong, front to back, and that's all this exercise is labeled, is front to back, inhale front, exhale back, how about last two, inhale front, exhale back, let's do one more, inhale front, and then exhale back, now let's do a big one, the leg goes front, comes up, reach behind and then down, circle front, up, behind and down, again, we're really trying to do this without moving anything else, let's do one more, Good, now let's reverse. Let's go back, come up, and then down in the front. One more. Good, and then just bring your leg back to that level position. And I want you to turn your leg out just a tiny bit and draw little bitty circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, reverse. So those circles, we're keeping them really small. Think about a piece of paper, and you've got a little marker on the end of your toe, drawing a quarter over and over and over. Four, three, two, one, let's hold there. And let your bottom leg come up and beat the top leg. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold it together now, circle fives. Four, three, two, and let's reverse. Now one. And two, and three, and four, and five. And then we're just gonna hold the legs up. A little more, a little more, a little more. And finally, lean onto the mat. All right, from there, let's roll onto your belly. Stretch everything out nice and straight. Slide your hands in close into your shoulders. We're gonna start lifting the heart off the mat and then push yourself all the way back. So your tailbone meets your heels and your forehead meets the mat. All right, from there, let's bring ourselves up onto all fours. So I'm actually gonna turn this way, all right? You can stay the way you are, but I'm gonna turn this way. So we're gonna extend the right arm and the left leg out. Exhale, lower switch, inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower, inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. So this is our level one exercise. Reaching across the room and coming back down. All right, so level one, you're gonna continue these at your own pace. Level two, people, we're gonna work at my pace. And level two is all about being able to hold a plank. So that's what we're gonna do is just draw a nice straight plank. All right, and once we've got our plank, let's lift the right foot off the floor a little bit. Push towards your left heel, but don't let your butt lift. Come forward, set your foot down. So lift, press, pull, lower, switch. 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 Lift, press. Let's do one more. Lift, press, pull, lower, stay. And then ease back down onto your knees. Everybody, stretch it all back. All right, so we're back up. And then from here, let's work on our side plank. Again, so we're facing the front of the room. I want your shoulders stacked over your wrist. The bottom knee, if you want to keep it down, it's the side of your knee. So in other words, don't have your knee way up here doing all the work. I want the abdominals to do the work. All right, level two people, you can stretch your bottom leg out straight. On the exhale, we're gonna stretch over the ear, palms of the ceiling. 
Inhale, come up. Exhale, scoop the belly and thread through the arm. Inhale, come up and exhale back a little bit. So we exhale over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop through. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop through. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, how about one more? Exhale over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop through. And inhale, stretch back. And then just hang out, side plank. All right, everybody's bottom knee down, and let's come up. So now we're gonna stay on our bended knee. We've got our knee aligned with our hip and our shoulder. This other leg remains straight out, and I want you to push the outer edge of your foot onto the mat so you're not rolling it up. It's pushed down, we're stretching up along the outside of the ankle, which is now aligned with the side of our knee, our hip and our shoulder, all right? We've got our elbows wide, our fingertips lightly on the head. We're gonna tip towards the straight leg. Pull yourself up and then twist the other way and come back to center. So we exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Side, lift, twist, center. Side, lift, twist, center. Side, lift, twist, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, give me one more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And then just side bend, side bend. Call it a nice open stretch. All right, then come back up and release. So now we're ready to do our other side plank. So just make sure you're switching your hands. Want the shoulder over the wrist. Side of the knee, not the full knee. Top leg, top arm extended. Level two, bottom leg is also extended. Here we go, exhale over the ear pump to the ceiling. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, thread through the armpit. Inhale, stretch back. So let's exhale over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop through. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop through. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale over. Inhale, lift, exhale, scoop through. How about our last two? Exhale over. Inhale, lift, exhale, scoop through. Last one. Exhale over, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop through. Inhale, stretch back. And then just hang out in your plank. All right, everybody's bottom knee down. Come on back up. So again, knee under hip and shoulder. Other leg extended, outer edge of your foot pressed into the mat. Ankle, knee, up shoulder, straight line. Elbows wide, looking straight ahead. Exhale, side bend, inhale, come center. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Side, lift, twist, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Side, lift. Twist, three more, side, lift, twist, two more, side, lift, twist, give me one more, side, lift, twist, center, now just go side, 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 open stretch. All right, and release, very good. From there, let's come back around and have a seat. All right, I'm going to turn just a little bit this way. All right, so now we're going to do a couple more um, exercises for the waistline. For the next two, again, you're going to need to sit really straight. So roll your mat in. Make sure you have a good little bit of a lift that you can fit your hands on your thighs. That way you know it's actually going to do you some good. Meanwhile, legs are together. Push out through the heels of your feet. Head is over tailbone, shoulders screen, stacked over the hips, and then the arms extend with our palms facing up. We're balancing a nice little cup of tea on the top of our head, so we want to keep it there. As we exhale, we're going to rotate towards the front of the room. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist, twist, center. So this is our seated twist, and make sure that you're not moving your legs. All right, if you're moving your legs, you're trying to twist too far. You only want to twist as far as you can go without compromising your form. 
And every time we twist, we're pulling the belly button tighter and tighter. How about three more? Two to go. Final one. And hold right there. So now let's do the saw. All you're going to do is separate your legs no wider than your hips. Everything else is the same. But this time as we inhale, we're rotating. On the exhale, you're going to slice off your pinky toe. Make sure your back arm is still in a straight line with your front arm. Inhale, pull yourself all the way up. Rotate. Exhale, over that toe. Inhale, lift. Twist. Exhale. Inhale, rotate. Exhale. Remember, guys, again, no movement of those legs. Every time you exhale, you're pulling your belly tighter. So in, twist, pull the belly in, lift, 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 twist. Let's try two more. Lift, twist, pull the belly in, last one, lift, twist, pull the belly in, lift. Time to hold it. Now little arm circles from back to front. Still remaining really, really straight and tall. Let's try to go a little bigger, a little slower. Four, three, two, one. Arms down. All right. Let's move that elevated surface. And you're ready for another teaser. This is going to be your moving teaser. All right. So if you can't do every single one, that's okay. But you're going to focus on how you're doing them. Let's bend the knees. Back is nice and straight, shoulders down. Find your balance. Add your legs when ready. That legs is perfectly fine. So once you've found your teaser, you can add the arms overhead and slowly open it. Down, down to the ground. Once we're down, inhale, sweep your arms around, palms up. Exhale, let's tighten the belly and start to pull up. So level one, you can bend your knees and help under those thighs. Inhale, we all stretch high. Exhale, we're opening. Down, down to the ground. Try again. Arms around, palms up, big inhale. Exhale, pull the body up. Inhale, stretch to the side. Exhale, opening. We're lengthening all the way back down. Arms around, palms up, big inhale. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, stretch to the side. Exhale, coming down and down and down to the ground. Arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, pull it up. Shh. Inhale, reach you to the side. Exhale, go down, down to the ground. Couple more. Arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale up. Shh. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, open down, down to the ground. Let's try one more. Arms around, palms up, big inhale, exhale, come together. Inhale, reach up, hold it. A little more. A little more. And now open slowly. Down, down, down to the ground. Alright. Flex your feet. Stretch your body straight. And relax. Alright, so the leg closest to me is going to stay straight. Then the other knee, put on the mat, and then roll onto your straight leg. So if that puts you on the same side that you already worked, just flip around, all right? So here we are, straight line parallel to the edge of our mat. If you want to be up on your forearm, that's great, except if you're showing me that. So you got to stay really lifted and holding using these abs. Otherwise, we're all the way down on our straight arm. We're going to take those legs. I want you to lift them and bring them to the forward edge of your mat, and then we'll be on that. Forming that good boomerang shape, riding with the leg, point, flex, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more, up, down, up. Reverse that. Do a flex, point, up, down, up, down, up. Two more, up, one more, up, down, and stay. Trace the line up your thigh with your toe, drop your knee down, up, extend, flex, go down. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's reverse. Flex, point, then touch, lower, lift, slide it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Flex, point, then touch, lower, lift, and slide it down. All right, now let's bend our knees. So we keep the knees down and we lift up the feet and we're pressing the top leg open and close. Press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, pull, press, last two, press, one more, press, and then pull. You can rest your feet back down. Let's re-extend those legs. We're still on the side of our hip. And then from there, let's lift this top leg hip level, and we want to make sure that it stays parallel to the ceiling. So we're going to pull the leg forward, flexing through the heel, extend back, and reach through your toes. Inhale front, exhale back. And remember, the goal of this is to only move that leg, that top leg. Everything else is cemented into the mat. Shh. Front. Let's do a couple more front. And one more to go front. And then back. Now let's draw a giant circle. So we're going to go front, lift up, reach behind and down. So we're front, up, behind and down. And again, we're making sure when we're doing this that we're keeping the rest of the body still. Now we'll go backwards first. So take it back, lift up, and then down in the front. Extend back, lift up, down in front. Extend back, lift up, down in front. How about one more? Take it back, lift it up, and then down in the front. All right, then once it's back to that neutral place, a little tiny turn out, not a lot. Small circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, reverse. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold right there, now let your bottom leg come up and the upper top leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten, five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, big hold. Circle five, circle four, circle three, circle two, and one, and then circle the other way. Five, woo, four, make sure you're on your head. Three, here's two. And one. I'm going to just lift up a little more, a tiny bit more, and then all the way back down we go. All right, from there we can roll back over onto our bellies. Give me a nice extended stretch out through your fingers and your toes. All right, so we're going to do some single leg kicks, some double leg kicks, and then we'll go for our swim. So for single leg kicks, we're going to bring the forearms close to the body. All right, you can separate your legs about this distance apart. Press down through your hip bones and start to pull out to the top of your head. So you can lift up onto your forearms and look out. All right, so we want to make sure that our elbows are under our shoulders. We're not sinking down here, but we're lifting and holding. Eyes looking out. You don't want to hang the head down. Make it up this with your hands like you're holding on to ski poles. And then we're just going to pull one heel towards the butt. You can either flex your foot or point your toes. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to switch. Kick, 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 Turn your head to one side. Doesn't matter which side, this will alternate. Meanwhile, I want you to keep your legs squeezed together. I'm going to take the hands behind your back and let them hook together. Now move them from your lower back up towards your middle back and then pull your elbows down. 
so it should feel like work to be here. All right? As we exhale, we're going to kick our butt three times. One, two, three. Now as we inhale, pull your arms and legs straight and look straight ahead. Now turn and look the other way. Elbows come to the mat. Kick two, three. Inhale, arms and legs straight with your feet together. Again, look the other way. Elbows down. Kick, kick, kick. Inhale, stretch it straight. Elbows down. Kick, kick, kick. Inhale, stretch it straight. Elbows down. Kick, kick, kick. Inhale, stretch it straight. Elbows down. Kick, kick, kick. Inhale, stretch straight. Hold there. Separate your legs no wider than your hips. Extend your arms wide. And then let's bring them forward so they're framing your head. And then start to swim those arms and legs up down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up. Little more. Little more. And all. All the way down we go. All right, let's bring the hands close to the shoulders. Tuck your elbows in. Press down through those hip bones. Pull out through the top of your head as you're lifting your heart. Keep pressing up and back we go. Tailbone to heels, forehead to the mat. Breathe. All right, let's pass our right arm to our left armpit. Let your shoulder melt into the mat. Come back out with switch. Passing left to right. And let's bring it back out. And again, just extend out through your fingertips. Push out through your tailbone. All right, now I want you to tuck your toes under and we're gonna just push our tailbone towards the ceiling. Let your heels sink closer to the mat. Let your head drop through your arms. Feel your rib cage drawing closer to your thighs. And the back of your shoulder blades pulling towards your gluteals. Let's do a few walks of our dog with a good stretch for the feet, the calves, and up to the hamstrings. And then just raise both heels and let them sink down. And then from there, come back down onto all fours. All right, now let's step the right foot forward. Let's remain on our left bended knee and we'll start lifting up the body. From there, let's head the arms. Be nice, open, crescent moon. So you're feeling all that space up the front of your body. Let the arms open wide. Let's rotate towards the left. And just look out over your right hand. And let's bring the right hand to the mat. Extend the left arm towards the sky. And just look up at your left hand. Good, and then we'll come back down. Let's step the right foot back and switch sides. So now the left foot comes forward. Again, staying on that right bend of knee, we'll start lifting up the body. Reach high, touch the sky. Then now open the arms wide. And start to rotate towards the right. And just look out over your left hand. And then let's bring the left hand down. Reach that right hand towards the sky and breathe. Exhale the right hand back down. From here, I want you to tuck your right toes under, lift up your right knee, and that brings us into runner's lunge. And then we'll just step the right foot forward. And I want you to let your big toes meet and your heels remain open and pull your rib cage close to your thighs. Let your head dangle down and form a nice little frame with your arms. So you've got your elbows just resting in the palms of your hands. Breathe. Forward bends. Very calming, relaxing to the body. Then let's release our fingers and roll up slowly. Once we're all the way up, we're going to roll the shoulders deeply from back to front. Good, and then just let your shoulders tuck right up into your ears and notice how awful that feels. So we're never going to do this on purpose, or actually the only time we're going to do it is on purpose. We never want to do this 
that up. So now I want you to just release all that tension away and feel all that weight of the world just drain out. Breathe. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, come back down. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, back down. Inhale to the sky. And this time, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let's inhale, open your arms and your heart as wide as you can and then lift up. And let's come back down. Again, open the arms wide, reach up. And pull that down. We've got one more. We're going to open wider and wider and wider, reaching up. And then bring your hands to your heart. Now let's open wider and wider and wider and wider. And bring our hands together. Yay. All right. Very good. I hope you're feeling more powerful. Everything, all of your power comes from the inside out. So let's all stay strong, stay hopeful, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Have a great rest of your day.